Okay, now it's time for us to do the chicken. And we're gonna barbecue this, of course, and we're going to cook it in the oven. So what I've already done is I've already washed it and everything else, so now it's just ready for seasonings. Now I'm just going to put uh, my seasoning on. Uh, before I do that, on the thighs, I'm going to take the skin off the thighs, but not until after I cook, uh, cook them. If you take the skin off the thighs prior to cooking, then the thighs tend to dry out. So the trick here is going on and cooking it like you normally would. And then right before I start putting the barbecue sauce on, because I'll dip my barbecue, my chicken in my barbecue sauce. Before I do that, then I'll take the skin off of the, off the thighs. Okay. Uh, so now I'm going to go on and start with my seasoning. And again, whatever seasoning you like is fine. I have this famous Dave's chicken rub. I'm going to put some of that on. Then I'll put some seasoning salt on here. And again, this is Laurie's seasoning salt. Not a lot of that. I won't put a lot of it on there. I'm going to put some ginger. I like the uh, McCormick's ginger. And I don't always put it on my chicken. But when I barbecue, I tend to put a little ginger on it. So I'll just sprinkle some of the ginger on it. Just like the flavor, that's all that is. So it's a preference, it's not anything that's required. And now I'll do the garlic powder. I'll do pepper. And you can change up your seasonings if you don't want all of your food to taste the same. And what I mean by that, if you don't want the flavor to be the same on all the food that you eat, so you can change it up and do some uh, seasonings on some meats, whereas you don't do other seasonings on other meats. This is onion powder. So if you want to do that, you know, that's uh, fine as well. Sometimes I don't do anything but salt and pepper. And, um, and sometimes I don't even do garlic powder, onion powder, or anything like that. So I am going to put, I didn't put salt on there. And that's because I already did the seasoning salt and the rub, so I'm gonna leave the, uh, the uh, white table salt off. I'm going to put my uh, Wright's liquid smoke on here, and I'll just sprinkle that. Okay. And I will put just a bit of apple cider vinegar. So I'm just going to put it in the capful and I may do maybe two capfuls. Got that. And lastly, I'll do uh, Heinz Worcestershire sauce. And so that's what I'll put on now and just sprinkle is what I do. Okay. And I'll just mix all of those seasonings together. Once I get all of that mixed together, I will cover this pan with aluminum foil and I'll let it sit in the fridge. Uh, the reason I do the Wright's liquid smoke is because when I barbecue in the kitchen, 
in the oven rather, and I don't use the grill, and I don't get that smoked flavor from the briquettes and things like that, I just put the rice, hickory smoked uh, seasoning on there, and, and that gives me that flavor that I like, that barbecue grill type flavor. In there. All right, we are ready. I think this is ready, and I don't worry so much either about you know whether I under season this or not because again, once you have it smoked and everything, it get that smoke gives it that wonderful flavor anyway. And then if you put your sauce on it, it gives it another flavor and seasoning. So I don't worry so much about it. All right, so we're done with this and we're gonna put this in the oven. Well, not right now, we're gonna put it in the refrigerator first and maybe for a few hours and then we'll put it in the oven, so. Okay, so this is the chicken that has been in the oven on 325 for about an hour and 45 minutes, cooking slowly. So now what I'm going to do is take, uh, I've taken the aluminum foil off the top of it, and I'm going to put it in there probably for another 20 minutes, and just so that it can get a golden brown. After that, I'll take the skin off of the thighs uh, before I get ready to put the barbecue sauce on. All right. Here is the chicken. I've taken it out of the oven, let it brown a bit. And so this is what we have. So this chicken is all done and it is now ready for the barbecue sauce. So once I get the barbecue sauce on it, I will come back and let you see what it looks like. Okay, I forgot to show you what the thighs look like after I take the skin off. So. The skin is now off of the thighs, and now I can go on and barbecue those. Foodies, it is now time for us to put the barbecue sauce on the chicken and on the meat. And this is the barbecue sauce. This is my homemade barbecue sauce. I'll do a show on how I make my barbecue sauce from scratch on an, at another time. But right now, we're going to go on and start dipping the chicken, I have the chicken that I'm gonna dip, and then I'm going to put it in this uh, Pioneer Woman, which again, as you know, my favorite dish, one of my favorite dishes, and I'm gonna put it in there, and then I'm going to put it in the oven on 325, and just let it slowly bake the barbecue sauce onto the chicken, okay? Uh, sometimes I'll wipe it on, you know, with my brush, barbecue brush, but most times I like to dip it. When you dip it, you, you use a bit more of the barbecue sauce. It doesn't go as far as wiping it on, but I just love dip barbecues. Okay, so I'll start with my tongs here, and then I have the chicken. I'm gonna just put the chicken, okay, in this dish here, and I'm just going to get a piece, and then I'll just dip it. like so, and then and I'll just do that until I fill this casserole dish. And when I do drumsticks, I just alternate them so that they can fit, I can fit more in there. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna put it in the oven and just for maybe about 15 minutes or so, just to let the barbecue sauce simmer on and adhere a bit better.